This is how to refocus the lens of your Viofo A119S dash cam. If your image is blurry on the left hand side or the overall image seems poorly focused or even the right side is poorly focused, contact your point of purchase and get your dash cam exchanged. Use the one year warranty and have the device repaired or replaced and if that doesn't work at point of sale contact Biofo on their website create a service ticket and find out what your options are so this is what you want to do being careful not to damage anything initially mark the what I call the zero position for your already supposedly focused lens and you want to mark it in three places you want to mark it on the threads away from the locking ring on the locking ring and on the base and this would be so you can track the focusing positions you are about to make to determine the best once done you have to remove the glue that will already be on your unit it will have glue on the threads and on the locking ring and in this case there's some left still on the base you don't have to take it off the base but I'm just showing that using a needle you can pry up the glue easily it's really needed to get the glue away from this locking ring and where the threads go in and also the seam or joint where the locking ring meets the base. You have to take all the glue away from those areas. Once done, you have to break the initial seal. And there will be some force required. So hold the base in this orientation. Hold your outer ring for the lens. Rotate counterclockwise with sufficient force to break the seal and it will rotate once you've broken that locking ring seal hold the locking ring and rotate your lens the opposite direction and go actually both directions just to clear out any glue that might still be within the thread and if you're uh, unable to use an external monitor for focusing all you have to do is move your mark on your thread two notches clockwise and that moves the lens closer to the sensor to improve the left image and you just have to shift it but when you go to tighten again note that the locking ring has advanced and instead of getting two which we already set I've got three now so you have to really be careful in how much you're advancing I believe this is why some of the lenses on the A119S are arriving with poor focus in the process of tightening even though it looks like you're just moving two positions when you go to tighten it's actually shifting and going further or in some cases it's the opposite way so before you start to try all kinds of different settings I could give you some advice I found it only works best from one to four within that range unless yours is extremely blurry or there's something really wrong with the focus of your uh, lens module between one notch and four doing clockwise. Once you have this set you can reassemble your dash cam and take test video. I would suggest taking it in your house and pointing it at something within 6 to 10 feet or further away which we're about to do or put it in your vehicle and go to a parking lot or in front of a, a building so you can see straight edges and check the focus and then come back and then advance this to three notches if those aren't sufficient back it down put it on one notch and then you're going to do 
incremental half notches to find the absolute sharpest image. That's how you can do it without a monitor. I happen to have one here, so we're going to use it. Given that we're going to do a live focus, I'm going to loosen this up so that it's free to move. And I'm going to reattach it to the dash cam. We're attaching the naked lens cable back into the clip and closing dash cam so you can hold it in your hand. Between your thumb and your finger, you're going to hold the base giving the cable enough flexibility so it doesn't bind or catch or kink. Now you're going to power up your unit. We are going to be attaching both cables. Get yourself an external power source such as a tablet adapter 2 amp, smartphone adapter as long as it's 2 amps not 1 and don't power it from your computer that's not sufficient power wait for it to fire up, make sure you got video now you're going to connect your AV if you happen to have the 4 pole 4 position plug meant for this output then you could connect it now to your monitor I have instead an old camcorder cable audio video, we only need the video but it's only 3 three position plug it works just as well as long as you don't push it in all the way about that far is sufficient once you have it connected and your dash cam has power just jiggle the jiggle the cable once or twice and it will auto detect on your display and you will have your VGA output now you, you have to pick a, something in a distance to do the focusing on, nothing short range. The farther the better. And I have an example here of what we could use for aiming and focusing. You want something with text on it if possible and something with straight edge so books on a bookshelf would be good or boxes stacked that's what we're using here and you want to do your focusing where you're going to go past the focus point you're going to go into the blurry area and then you're going to go past that point back through the focused sharp area to another blurry section and then you want to find the midpoint between. It's just a process of doing it slowly. So you're going to hold your locking ring and the base and you're going to go back and forth until you're satisfied that you found the midpoint, the sharpest picture. Unfortunately it's only a VGA display you're getting is not high definition so you won't get it precise but it'll give you a ballpark point of focus and then you can actually verify if your original point the zero position has shifted and that's how you know your dash cam was sent with the improper focus so now that that's done disconnect your your monitor disconnect your power you're going to check your position on your where you've marked now I, I've marked mine on the opposite side so you should mark yours on the top for just for quick reference but mine's on the bottom and I can see here that mine is within a notch so you have to fine-tune that by doing test 
test video in your vehicle or reading the output from the SD card. There is no way the, the video on the VGA monitor is sharp enough for you to verify that you got the right position. And then from there you can make micro adjustments to this point you've just discovered is better than the one from the factory which we just witnessed and for this lens module I happen to know it's between one and a half and two and a half it has improved the left hand blurry edge and I'm going to pick two the midpoint between those positions and lock it in place and that will fix this lens keep in mind you must do the alignment of the base from my other video before you do this focusing now to lock in place I, I showed this earlier just to do it quickly you know now let's say it's two notches to lock that you have to move your locking ring move your thread and then turn the outside until it gets tight and try to uh, get these correct so you have the exact same two notches and then turn your locking ring last just to see if you'll, you can snug it up you're not using tools but you are using sufficient force to make sure it is tight once you're satisfied and you've done your test footage and you've had it running for a week or so you can dismantle again and then put some glue back you can use very pliable very soft clear hot glue a dot on here would be enough or what I'm using is the Loctite uh, vinyl rubber repair cement it's uh, the closest to what seems to be originally used by Viofo in the production line and that would just be a couple of drops on here just to to glue it in place that's it see my other videos and the tips I have on the A119S the footage and the GPS modification that people have been waiting for thanks for watching subscribe so you don't miss anything